Well, we've done a lot of preparation so far. On one hand, we prepared our substrate cells. On the other hand, we prepared protein extracts from either the cells or the tissues. So now let's show you how to incubate this to actually study DNA repair. Okay, so now we're going to incubate the protein extracts with the substrate cells. And the setup here is for a base excision repair assay as an example. So we have uh, cells that are non-exposed, that are in one gel, and then in parallel you have your cells which were exposed to the row compound, which we put on the second uh, gel. On your duplicate slide you can do it the other way around, just to randomize. And then you can have exposure to, for instance, cell extracts. You can have, of course, as many as you want, but here is one example. Or you could work with tissue extracts. In our case, we're using a liver extract. Important is that you always include an assay control. Since we're working for bare with row exposed cells, we use FPG as an assay control to see if the assay worked. Then these are the two gels per slide. But there is an alternative format which you can use, which is the 12 gels per slide. Here we use the non-exposed cells as substrate cells on the bottom line and the row exposed cells on the top line. And you can do it again the other way around in the duplicate slide. What we will then do is incubate, for instance, buffer in the first wells in duplicate. Then you have your cell extract, a liver extract. You can have your FPG assay control and so on. You can have as many as you want. Okay, so now we're going to uh, incubate the protein extracts with our substrate cells. Take care to first mix your extract or your control buffer in a ratio of one volume with four volumes of your incubation buffer B. And then from this mixture, you add 50 microliters to each gel. On the two gels we put 50 microliter of the buffer control first. On each gel. And then you cover both of these gels with one big cover slip. We advise this in order to prevent evaporation of the buffer or of your extracts. So next is the cell extract. Again, you take 50 microliters for each of the gels. You can see that we do this by drip dripping without touching the gels. Then next, we are using a liver extract. Important is that for each of these cell extracts or liver extracts, you always titrate your protein concentrations. So next we have our assay control, which is FPG. And also for FPG, when you buy it from a commercial place or if you get it uh, self-made, you always have to titrate and uh, figure out your own dilution, which works best for you and gives the best specificity. Okay, so next is a 12 gel system. In this system, we only use 30 microliters per gel. So in each well, we put 30 microliters. So now first we're doing the buffer control. Then next to it, we will put now a cell extract. The beauty about these systems is that we work with a rubber gasket, so the system presses it so tight that there's no leaking of uh, fluids from one well to the other well, so you can nicely incubate another extract or another enzyme in each of the wells. 
With the 12 channel systems, it's important that you also cover the wells. We usually do this with a cover slip or a slide. And then all of this can go to the incubator. Okay, so for the incubation, we will show you two things. First, with a moist box. So you will see that in the bottom there is a layer of water and a holder to put slides. You can put your slides there with the cover slab. Ideally, these boxes have been in the incubator before you start using it so that it's already like pre-warmed. And also a 12 channel system could be placed in such a box. And then we will move this box into an incubator of 37 degrees. Okay, so the alternative system you can use is a slide mode. This is something that only a few people started using more and more. You can buy it like this, so uh, you can remove the lid. And there are several holes in the grooves. In these holes you can put some water to keep the moisture inside the chamber. So you can put the two gel slides just on top of these heating plates. So this is a standard system. If you want to work with 12 gel systems, what you can do is make an uh, intersection, like a way to increase the height. Then you can put the 12 gel incubation chamber also in there and incubate everything at 37 degrees. The advantage of the slide mode is that it keeps the temperature more stable in comparison with the moist boxes.